You are now entering a techie zone. Hello, and welcome back into the Mind of the Techies world. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, a few years ago, I documented on the old iBook G4 how good or how horrible um, Internet Explorer 5 worked as a modern web browser. Now, I did that back in, I believe, 2013, I believe is when I did that video. And... Um, so I thought I'd do the same for Netscape Navigator. Now, Netscape Navigator uh, was the gold standard of web browsers. Back in the day, um, it helped shape what web browsers are, basically. It was the most used web browser, and it was my personal favorite. In fact, if Netscape Navigator was still being developed, I would probably still be using it. Um, it was my favorite browser of all time, bar none, hands down. Uh, I loved it. It was the best browser, I think, on any platform, period. Uh, just in my humble opinion. So, you know, I thought I'd do pretty much the same thing I did with IE on the iBook, and this time I'm going to be running it on my MacBook Pro. Uh, and uh, actually, the very interesting thing about this is Netscape Navigator was in development up until 2008. And the very last uh, version of Netscape Navigator is what we call dual binary, which means it runs on PowerPC and Intel machines. You can still download the last version that was made but I don't recommend it because it's out of date, but we're gonna see how good it works just for something to do, and I thought it'd be kinda of cool to share. So just to show you that we're gonna be running a pretty good test here, we're gonna show you the specs on the machine that I'm using. This machine has its max six gigs, uh, this machine has a maxed 16 gigabytes of RAM. That is the max that this computer can take, and this machine also has a SSD in it. So the main limiting factor in speed is going to be the browser itself. This machine already has its max 16 gigs of RAM. It's got an SSD in it. So we're running a very nice test here. Um, whoops, not that button either. Um, so we're going to be running a very nice test. And I made sure that I have enough RAM, 16 gigs of RAM and SSD. Uh, so the main limiting factor is going to be the browser itself. So let's go ahead and launch Navigator. And, um, you know, you can still download this if you want to. I don't recommend it, but we'll see how well it works. Oh, that old splash screen, how I missed that. And we, of course, we get the uh, warning here. We don't want it to be the default browser. Now, one thing about this version of Netscape Navigator is it looks very Firefox-like, doesn't it? Well, later on in life, um, AOL transitioned the development of this over to, I think, Mozilla. I think they had um, something to do with the development of it. In fact, the browsing engine that the last version of Navigator uses is actually the Gecko browsing engine, and I'll show you that here, go into About. And um, right in through here, I'll zoom in on this for you. Uh, it's Navigator version 9006. It was released in 2008. And it was developed by Mozilla using the Gecko browsing engine. So this basically was a partnership between Mozilla and AOL to create, um, well, not AOL, uh, Netscape. Uh, well, I guess Netscape was owned by AOL back in 08, I do suppose. But, um, you know... So technically, they had a lot to do with the development of the later versions. As you see here, it loads the uh, AOL homepage, not in a very good way. Um, some things, I mean, the picture content doesn't seem to be loading. The scrolling speed is way too slow. I mean, I'm not even scrolling on the mouse, and it's just, you know, it's not um, at this point. Um, so the AOL homepage doesn't, um, you know, I can't get this to, you know, we definitely got some rendering issues here. Um, stop, 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 stop. Well, that's the reload button. Um, yeah, this thing is... Uh, <laughs> like I said, this machine's got 16 gigs of RAM. It's got an SSD, so the main limiting factor is the browser itself. Um, let's stop that. Let's try um, going to the Apple homepage. And again, the Apple homepage, again, it loads pretty quick, but again, it doesn't render... A lot of things properly again look at this the page doesn't render very well um, none of the image content shows so um, yeah that's kind of a bummer <laughs> uh, let's try going to a subdivision doing that and um, again we don't have anything there either uh, so none of the image content the page is all oh we do have some image do us we do we do have some image content down here see the magic mouse um, Whatever this is. What is that thing? Looks like a Mac Mini. Uh, got the uh, trackpad here and the new keyboard. Uh, so, I mean, you know, we have some of this content down here. So, um, eh. 
not good. Let's try um, let's try Facebook, and we're going to get that security warning. Now, strangely enough, the Facebook homepage, when you go to log in, and we get the spinning wheel of death, wah, 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 um, <clears throat> the Facebook homepage here isn't too bad. You see, we don't have the Facebook logo. Some things aren't rendered properly. But let's go ahead and try logging in, shall we? Okay, so surprisingly enough, we are able to log in, and again, we get the spinning wheel of death. Um, we're able to log in, but again, it can't render things. It doesn't really render things very properly, as you see here. Um, and it's very, very slow. Um, so, no. Uh, Facebook usage on this isn't all that great. And again, we just get the spinning wheel of death again. It's having a hard time rendering uh, some of these newer sites. Actually, one very interesting thing about this is Facebook actually could work just fine probably about a couple years ago under this version of Navigator. The problem is as the web has become more intense for what this browser is capable of doing. And um, I can't even get the menu to come up. And it's just not giving me anything. Um... Let's force quit it. Let's try opening it again. Um, I had to force quit out of it. Let's try it again. Start a new session. <clears throat> you know, I think it's really kind of sad that, um, you know, this browser died. Um, because, this, because, you know, this was my all-time favorite web browser of all time. And uh, I just think it's sad that this browser died. Um... I would have liked to see it continue on, but I think the market share of Navigator really plummeted. Um, I think, you know, we're talking around 2008. This is when we had Safari and Google Chrome. I mean, you know, Chrome just came out in around 2008. Um, you know, we had, you know, Mozilla, you know, and their Firefox. We also had uh, Safari and Chrome and Opera and all these other browsers to choose from. And I just don't think a lot of people connected with Navigator anymore. Um, and I don't know what the issue was. Maybe there was a lack of innovation in the browser or what have it. But um, it died, and I'm still kind of depressed that it did die because um, I would have liked to have seen it carried on in some form or another. But um, I guess the later versions weren't as good as the early versions. I abandoned uh, Navigator. I will admit I abandoned Navigator in favor of Firefox. Uh, that used to be my main browser. Now my main browser is Safari, but that's a whole other story. Um, but anyway, um, one site that I know that used to work on here was um, Google. As with all these older browsers, you do get a more lighter weight. And, you know, i got to say this about Google. Google really does a good job of working with out-of-date browsers. Because Google itself is quite lightweight, um, it doesn't require a lot of horsepower for the browser. So in this case, if I type up, um, oops, spell it right Techie, what are you doing? I uh, forgot the B now. There we go. So you see here, you know, the Google page loads pretty well, and it searches pretty well as well. I mean, the search time is pretty quick. And we also get the old images page. Some of us oldie people may remember the old time images page. Um, so, you know, it doesn't do too bad in terms of a, of a website that it can handle. I mean, search engines usually are fairly lightweight. Uh, let's go ahead and try doing, um, let's try Bing here. And um, I don't know if Bing is going to work. Now, Google is generally lightweight. I don't know how well Bing will work, if it will work at all. Uh, no. Um, it doesn't, uh, ooh, uh, accept that. Um, yeah, you can see there's some rendering issues, especially over here. We have uh, some of these rendering issues over here and some of this here. Uh, so it's not as good as Google on this. Um, let's try images. Whoops, not that button. About that. Hmm. Could be better. Um... Now, Yahoo, I'm almost certain, won't work because I've tried this with Internet Explorer and um, 
it gave me something. See if it gives me the same thing here. I don't know what. No, no, it doesn't. Um, when I tried this on IE, uh, you guys can actually go back and watch the video of this. But when I tried this on IE, um, the Yahoo page, the home page, wouldn't load at all, and you just got a blank search field. And so, I mean, you, you know, you could search for something in there, but the search results wouldn't display. So, um, again, this is the Yahoo page. Um, doesn't really do a very good job in rendering. It's not, on a scale of a 1 to 10, it's still trying to load content, I think. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it a 4. Um, because, again, it did render some things, especially down here. And it's trying to load some of this, so, you know, I won't dock it completely because of that. Um, let's try for giggles. Let's try um, YouTube and see what it gives us. And, of course, we're going to run into this. Your browser is no longer supported. YouTube works with a wide range of browsers, however you blah, 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 and all that stuff. And up here, I always find this funny. Google puts up here, your browser is depreciated. Please upgrade. Um, I, I just find that... Um, uh, amusing for some reason. And here we are on the YouTube homepage. And again, it's not rendering content very well. Um, let's try what the channel looks like. And again, the channel, it's doing a little better than what I thought it would, but not all that great. Um, view the video list. And again, it's, um, could be better. Let's go ahead. I'm almost guaranteeing you this won't play. If it actually does play, I'll be shocked. So let's go ahead and try playing this video here. I don't think it's going to do it. No, it doesn't look like it's going to play. Um, so videos will not play in Netscape Navigator, to no surprise there. Um, now, the reason for this is more than likely due to the fact that it can't render it. The browser is too old, it can't render the uh, video very well, and all you gotta get is just this. And you see the page won't load properly at all either. Um, so, I think we can pretty much stop there. Um, I, you know, I think we've seen enough <laughs> to basically uh, declare this. So, my final judgment on Netscape Navigator. Um, what is my final judgment on the matter? Well, whoops, I just ejected my time machine drive. I didn't mean to do that. Um, and also, this comes up too, this uh, it quit unexpectedly thing. I just um, unplugged my time machine drive and I didn't mean to do that. Um, so, that was my fault. I bumped the USB cable and I unplugged my backup drive. Oopsies! So, anyway, what's my... <laughs> Uh, what's my final judgment on Netscape Navigator? Well, obviously, it is old, it is outdated, and it is not useless, and it is useless <laughs> in today's day and age. Um, if by some reason you need to use Netscape Navigator, you can use it for Google searching. <laughs> That's pretty much about as far as I'd go with it, is Google search. Um, the, the browser is so outdated that it can't render modern websites properly. Um, so Netscape Navigator, I would put, is dead. Um, and, you know, that, and, you know, I hate saying that because Netscape Navigator was the best browser on the planet, again, in my personal opinion. Um, but, you know, everything has to die, and I guess Navigator's time was up in 2008 when it was <coughs> killed off. Um, but I don't know. I would like to see maybe someday whoever can, I don't know, I, I think AOL holds the rights to um, to Netscape now, I think. I would like to see uh, Netscape Navigator come back as a rebirthed form, um, but I don't ever see that happening. You know, once a browser dies, it's it's dead, and it's probably never coming back, which is just, um, just depressing, but um, technology marches on. Anyway, that's the video today. A little interesting and not usually one of my most exciting ones. Um, I thought I'd take this time and um, show you at the end of the video and I wrap up the video with this. I've been involved in a side project. As you probably seen when I was browsing through my channel um, just a minute ago, you probably seen that uh, I liked a couple videos from a channel called Multiverse Videos. Well, that is actually a collaboration channel that I am a part of between me and a bunch of other YouTubers. And the whole point of the channel is to show uh, the entire community 
a different kind of content from all kinds of bounds. My videos are uploaded every Tuesday and they're called Tech Tuesdays. And um, so I've been kind of been a little busy, uh, you know, getting, you know, stuff done for that channel. Um, so, but don't worry, I'm not abandoning this channel. This is just a little set by channel. This is just a little set by video while I work on some new content for this channel. Uh, this channel is not going away. Um, so, I mean, you know, don't, don't ever panic that I'm leaving you guys. I'm not. Um, the problem is, you know, I'm a college student. I'm in like six college classes or something like this. I've got homework in like every single one of those classes. I'm studying for my A plus exam. Uh, you know, I'm doing videos for the other channel. You know, you know, I'm trying to do videos for this. Uh, and I'm, and you know, and plus I'm also trying to have a life, you know, outside of the internet. And, um, you know, it's, you know, it's difficult trying to juggle all this stuff. So, um, you know, my deepest apologies for not uploading in about a month, a little over a month now, I think. So my deepest apologies, I'm not leaving you guys, uh, but just be assured that I am working on new content for this channel. You can also check out the other channel. It's called Multiverse Videos. Um, a, a link to that will be um, in the description of this video. And you can also see it in the uh, homepage on my channel. Uh, you'll see that I have a little link for it. You know, I've got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Uh, it's, it's very chaotic. My hair is turning gray. I know you can't see it. I should have turned down the um, video uh, option because I'm actually using ScreenFlow to uh, do this video with. And um, I should have had the option to turn the video on so you can see my hair is turning gray. No, it's not really. But So anyway, I'm going to end here. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from the Techies world, hit the uh, subscribe button down below. New content is on the way. I am working on it now. Um, so just please, please, please be patient with me. Uh, you know, I, you know, I'm trying to juggle like 128,000 things. So, uh, you know, just please be patient. Um, and I will see you with the next tech video. Thank you for watching. Yo, fresh haircut, fresh cars, fresh homeboys, fresh stars. About to bring four girls back, five stars. Famous, without the fuss, I'm hard from the shit at the